Welcome to CyberProtect. We want to show you a new offering in the market by Siemens. We think this is a very unique offering that nobody else is doing right now. This is how we are reimagining how to do SOAR, which is the security orchestration, automation, and response that IT's been doing for probably the last five plus years. So the idea with SOAR is to use an intrusion detection system or a next generation firewall or even a seam like Splunk to send a alerts to a SOC, a security operations center, and then an analyst in the operations center has to investigate whether or not that looks like a real alert. So during that time, a virus could spread throughout the whole line or throughout the whole plant. So in this case, what we're doing is, instead of sending those messages up to a SOC where they may or may not be looked at anytime soon, we send them directly to a PLC. But those blocks will then parse the syslog message that's sent from those intrusion detection system or the next-gen firewall, and that syslog message has a criticality level. We parse that out, and based on the level of that code, we can either say, okay, that's just information only, and we may log it on the screen, or if it's medium, then we'll turn on the yellow light, pulse the horn so that somebody knows that something has happened, or if it's a high criticality event, then we'll turn on the red light and, and leave the horn on until somebody silences it. And then we use our S615, the Scalent security device, which has a digital input on the front. When we detect a threat and we determine that we want to quarantine this part of the plant, the PLC will turn on that output, which will change the firewall rule set and isolate this part of the plant from other parts of the plant. Okay, let's see what happens when we play back the WannaCry virus through the intrusion detection system. So we get the loud piercing horn and a red light, and then we get a message on our screen that tells us that it was the WannaCry virus. What IP address range was affected and some other information that might have been in that syslog message. At the same time that that shows up, we're turning on that output. You can see here that the light came on, so our, our firewall has switched. And if you look up here, we're no longer getting the data that we were getting from the PLC. So we've isolated this part of the plant from the rest of the plant. We, uh, again, are using standard parts, keeping that OT-centric by using the PLC as the brain, the response, give the plant four instant notification that something's going on, and then the OT folks can handle any kind of changes that they want to do or the way that the system reacts through standard PLC programming. So this is CyberProtect, patent pending, and trademark from Siemens.